So you uh, you enter this season with a lot of hype on yourself, obviously. People consider you the best receiver in the country, one of the best players in the country. How do you handle that? Um, I just don't pay no attention. I mean, I'm just going to continue to do the same thing I'm, I've been doing, you know. That's, that's really about it. Uh, just focus on my game, you know, and, and I appreciate everything people say, you know, and I, and I never shoot it down, and, but, you know, I got goals for myself, and that, and that just is to maintain being on top. It's hard trying to be on, to stay on the top, so I'm just working hard trying to get through it. I mean, I don't, I don't really pay attention to all, everything that come with it, you know, I really don't focus on it. I just focus on seasons. Last season was obviously disappointing for you guys, considering what the preseason expectations were that everyone had for you, I'm sure you guys had for yourself. Right. How have you handled the fallout from last season? Is your approach any different heading into this season? Uh, I'm not necessarily. I feel like I'm doing the same thing I did last season, which is typically work. That's it. Summer workout. Get that extra workout in. It's just now just the mindset is just is a little bit turned up a little bit more than, than you know me coming into last last camp. Uh, you know, chip on our shoulders, you know, we went seven to six. Nobody ever wanna go seven to six. We went rank number one to rank number zero. So it's like, you know, now it's able to start from the bottom and, and try to make your way to the top, you know, not not many people worried about us, but then again, you know, we know what we gotta do in order to move up. Uh, a lot of criticism for your coach, Coach Kiffin. When you hear that, what do you feel? I mean, I don't pay no attention. You know, it's, uh, people people gotta understand. It. People say, oh, you know, Marquise this, Marquise that, but it, none of it would be possible without Kiffin, you know. Without Kiffin giving me that opportunity to actually play my freshman year and get in during camp and, and try to make some plays, you know, all that wouldn't be possible without him. So at the end of the day, I can care less what people say about him, you know, because I know in my head, I know he's a good coach. I know he's the reason why I'm at right now, and he's the reason why, you know, we're going to be doing what we're doing next season. Matt's gone. Uh, you know, you, you played with your whole career. He was your quarterback yeah. your whole career. Career. What's next for, for USC at the quarterback position? Man, I'm going to have to wait to see just like you. That's what I'm saying. It's a struggle right now going to the summer, not, 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 not necessarily knowing who the exact quarterback is going to be, you know, because you, you can't sit there and fully focus on. I can't spend my 100% of the time trying to, you know, with the number one, I mean, with the quarterback who's going to be the starter because we don't know who it is. So instead of spending my 100% time, now my time is split amongst, you know, all three all three quarterbacks. So it's, it's kind of difficult because you're not spending as much time as you want, but then again, you spend enough time so when you go in camp, you're not, like, fully lost. So we're, I'm, I'm from up in Oregon, so I cover Oregon State and Oregon. When you look at, uh, there's some good receivers on those teams. When you look at the other receivers around the league, who, who do you consider your peers? Who, who, who impresses you uh, from the other receivers in the pack? Uh, Sammy. Sammy Watkins from my freshman year. I should, we should watch him. You can ask Hayes. We should watch him every morning. If, if Clemson had an early game, we was watching it, you know. Uh, well, I was just to see, you know, me and Rob was roommates. So just to see, you know, the type of things he did. He's an amazing player. But then you got a couple. We got Paul. You know, Paul didn't get the chance to play this year, last year because, you know, it was a knee. But he was a great player. He did amazing things before he got injured, you know. So just players like that. And that's just players you, that you just got to. Not only do you pay attention to it, but then you can critique and, you know, build, take things from their game and try to put it in your game. That's all I do. That's all typical receiver stuff. You guys have developed uh, a little bit of a rivalry with Oregon, but you're not playing them this year. Are you disappointed to not have the Ducks on your schedule? Um, I'm very disappointed, actually. You know, I, I enjoy playing, playing Oregon, you know, numerous amount of time. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully we uh, get the chance, the opportunity to make it to Pac-12 and get the opportunity to play them. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to uh, play them, actually. I actually want to. Uh, but, I mean, that's a, that's a ways from now. I'm going to take it one game at a time. We're going to handle Hawaii first. What do you like about playing them so much? I don't know. It's just, you know, the, I mean, I know a lot of players from, like, a lot of schools, you know, but it's like Oregon. I just know, like, I know their players, you know. I know their corners. I talk to them, like, outside of football. So it's like, so it's like you know, and I talk to Deanne and then Deanne, like, so it's like, you know, like, it's just, just playing against people you know is, just, is the best, you know. It's like, I don't really know people from, like, Oregon State, but, I mean, I know I met some of the people here, you know. It's, it's great. So, but, I mean, Oregon is, because that's a legit team. Oregon and the Stanfords, you know, they, they, they've been holding Pac-12 down as a whole, you know, giving us opportunities to broadcast Pac-12, you know, and we're just trying to help him hop in. Who are you closest with on the Ducks? Uh, real close to Deanti. I talked to him a, a good amount as far as memory. We both do track, so as far as on the on the football field and track field, we talk in 24/7. So it's like I see him more than I see anybody really, really at all. So it's like that's why you know. Did you, have you been up to Eugene for track at all? Yeah. Uh, did we go this year? We didn't go this year. But I went my uh, last year. My uh, I went my freshman year. 
Uh, yeah. I made it to actually made it to NCAA, but we had uh, regionals at uh, Oregon. What do you think of Hayward Field? Man, they or they their field is amazing. Yeah. It's like it's like they it's like it's, they it's like the 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 field for football like, and the crowd be crazy. They be always be packed, full of people, just like a football game all over again. But now you're just running and jumping. It's fun, right? Yeah. And it's cool up there.